Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my trailer collection. My name is Eve. Thank you very much for tuning in. And today I have 10 more trailers making the count uh, the count will become 70. Last week we left off with, uh, or last episode we left off with uh, 60. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the count will be 70. So looks like I have a good uh, collection of trailers in this episode. Uh, I ran most of these on 35mm film. Uh, let's check it out. So, all right. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's uh, safe and. Just chilling out at home and doing all what we can to flatten the curve, right? So, all right. Uh, first trailer is oh, uh, it's 20th anniversary just passed. This is one of the films that kind of catapulted Christian Bale. Uh, this is for American Psycho. It sucks because it's like, I like the trailer, but it's very short. I wish I had a little longer one. Um, but I remember seeing this version in the theaters, I think in like February or March of 2000. Uh, and this uh, trailer uh, is kind of cool. It has like, kind of like computer like language, like, like computer font from the 80s. Like kind of like, you know, like typing out his daily schedule. Um, now, this trailer, the date says April 7th, but the movie came out April 14th, so there was clearly a last minute uh, change in the, uh, the release date, so... Alright, next one we're going to check out is... Kill Bill. Kill Bill is the first Tarantino movie I ran on 35mm film, and it's the first Tarantino movie that I... Well, the first 35mm print that I assembled, uh, like, ever. You know, splicing all the reels together and putting it on the platters. But here, here you go. Check out that label. Now, um, I believe this is the trailer. Yes, I have another one. I believe it says teaser. But this is the trailer that specifies volume one. That it is volume one and at the end i believe it advertises volume one and it advertises volume two coming out in february of 2004 ultimately that movie came out april 2004 so uh next one is another one that came out 20 years ago its anniversary just passed is pitch black one of vin diesel's early films it's a great trailer, great movie. Um, too bad the sequels weren't very good. But uh, I inspected this, it's in great condition. All right. Next one I have is... Bad Boys 1. Long trailer. It's pretty cool to have this because this is Michael Bay's first movie and this is the movie that kind of made Will Smith a huge action star. Independence Day kind of topped that, but this Bad Boys was the one that, that had him running down the street, you know, with his shirt unbuttoned and it was in slow motion. He was being an action star, so here you go. Uh, I had to cut some of the heads and tails off, but uh, there you go. I ran this trailer, it's in great condition. All right, up next is. Bad Boys 2. I kind of personalized the label. Made the two appropriate, just like in the trailers. This is one of the first trailers I've collected, like, from my career as a projectionist. Um, now, this is trailer is pretty much the world premiere version, uh, which premiered on Twin Towers, Lord of the Rings, in December of 2002. Um, but I ran this trailer on either Tears of the Sun or Basic, which both movies came out in spring 2003, uh, pretty much like a few weeks between each other. Um, but uh, this is a trailer that ha features a song called Smart Bomb by BT, a very popular song in the early uh, 2000s. And another trailer I showed in uh, earlier episodes was Ghost of Mars that features the same song. 
So, really cool trailer. I'm, I ran this and I'm glad I held on to it. So, and it's in really good condition too. Let's see here. I have the A team. I like the trailers for the A-Team. Let's see which trailer this is. Oh, it's version 2. So this is the second trailer that they had. Um, so the thing about this movie is that it came out June 11th, 2010. And Karate Kid came out the same weekend. So um, uh, that was the last weekend we were fully filmed. Um, by starting Monday, the Monday after this A-Team came out and Karate Kid, uh, we started our digital rollout. June, it was so it's June 14th, 2010. It took uh, pretty much the entire week. You had engineers in the projection booth, projectionists and techs, and we were, you know, installing the projectors and breaking down film prints and, you know, bringing the film projectors downstairs. And uh, we were digital by Friday. It was crazy, uh, but that whole summer was like a huge rollout for, for digital, I remember. Um, luckily, the IMAX had several months to go before it went digital, so my job was kind of saved up until February of 2011. Let's see here. All right, I got it. Ooh, Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible. I did not run this on 35 millimeter. Um, this trailer I did run. I saw it. It's in great condition. But I did not run this on 35 millimeter. Um, I played this on standard digital and digital IMAX. Now this trailer I found when I was working at the Maritime Aquarium. Uh, I just kind of was, you know, bored one day cleaning out stuff, and um, uh, I found two of the same versions of this trailer and two Adventures of Tintin trailers. So, I mean, what was I going to do? Throw them out? <laughs> you know, so. I love Tom Cruise and uh, like Mission love Mission Impossible, so good to have those on 35. Alright. Uh, ooh, a rare one uh, for one of the best James Bond movies in recent years. This in Skyfall. This is uh, Casino Royale. If you can see that, the Sony labels are kind of kind of worn out. But uh, yeah, Casino Royale. It's good to have Daniel Craig, James Bond on 35 millimeter. Um, it's a very hard trailer to get. Um, you don't really see it pop up anywhere that much. So I'm happy to have ha to have it, and I'm happy I, I held on to it. All these years, and this is the first James Bond movie that I ran on 35 millimeter. Quantum was the second and last one, and Skyfall was the first one I played on digital, and the first one I ran I played on digital IMAX. So good to have. All right, so I did eight. So I have two more, uh, nine and ten. Uh, these are both different versions, uh, but for the same movie. So. These are both Dark Knight trailers, 35mm. So, we had the teaser trailer for Dark Knight, which played uh, on Simpsons in July, late July of 2007. No footage, just a little bit of audio. And this is the premiere trailer that played before 35mm prints of I Am Legend. So this is this is the tr the first time you see the Joker and the first footage of the movie, and uh, it has an IMAX tag, which means that uh, at the end of the trailer it'll say "Also see it in IMAX," something along that lines. So it's pretty cool. Now, when you went to see I Am Legend uh, in standard 35 millimeter, you saw this trailer. But if you saw I Am Legend in IMAX. Uh, 70 millimeter when back when everything was filmed uh, you got to see the prologue which was the first six minutes of Dark Knight followed by a little mini trailer um, so I ran both I ran the 35 I am legend and I ran the IMAX I am legend and man <laughs> I ran that prologue into the ground I mean it was just 
uh, it was awesome to watch, but I know it by heart. You know, it's it's crazy. It was something cool that Warner Brothers did, and uh, you know, the IMAX footage definitely changed um, how movies are viewed and made. Uh, okay, final trailer is another Dark Knight, but this is the the third and final trailer for Dark Knight. I'll show you right there. I ran this on 35 millimeter when it came out, uh, when you know the movie came out, and uh, I also ran Dark Knight in IMAX film. Uh, so the date was July 18th, and this was pretty much the busiest movie of the year. Uh, it revolu revolutionized how movies were changed. Uh, got Heath Ledger, the late Heath Ledger, an Oscar nomination and an Oscar win for for this movie and a Golden Globe. So uh, it was a pretty impactful film, but uh, yeah, I ran. I was fortunate enough to run both 35 millimeter prints and IMAX prints. Um, now these trailers, unfortunately, I have not seen them on eBay. I've seen Batman Begins and I've seen Dark Knight Rises, but I've never seen a Dark Knight on eBay. I'm very lucky to have these. Uh, I'm glad I held on to them because I'm sure these are very, very, very hard find. Uh, and probably worth, you know, they're priceless, but, you know, if somebody really wants it, they'll probably pay a pretty penny for it, so. Alright, so that's 10 trailers that amounts to 70. So I have 70. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please, pl please also like, subscribe, share, and be sure to hit that notification bell uh, to see more videos just like this. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you're staying safe and staying home. This is an 80s Die Hard production. And uh, thanks again, everyone. See you later. Bye.